The story of Wildstar encompasses a vast, enriched, and widely varied planet called Nexus. It has great beauty, flowering expansive fields of golden crops and bitter mountains of cold and ice, with only the wreckage of burning spaceships to illuminate the snow. Billowing smoke rises to the skies, dark and void, pierced by an array of stars and an envoy of militia spacecraft. The player is caught in a war between two powerful factions, but before any of the chaos, Nexus was inhabited by a seemingly peaceful and intellectual race known as the Elden. It is fortunate that they left their mark on history, because it was many years ago that all traces of any living Elden disappeared. Their robot creations known as the Mekari survive on. Nexus was the capital of the Elden Empire, and their Mekari had acted as scouts. Beyond the site of Nexus, under another star, a planet named Cassus was called home for many humans. They rapidly discovered the technology needed to traverse space, and now they are widespread, calling many planets home. At the birth of their pioneering flights into space exploration, the Makari saw this and notified the Elder. The Makari would return to Cassus, bringing the humans a message. They made a demand of the humans, stating they would provide them with a gift of immeasurable value in exchange for their sword maiden, Trisane Toria. This was not a message of peace they could refuse, and it was many years after their agreement that the exchange was reciprocated. The planet of Cassus received a new visitor. This was the son of Trisane Toria, named Dominus, a human Elden hybrid who had returned with the promised gifts. He brought incredibly powerful weapons and a new message, join his cause and be ruled by him as Emperor of the Galaxy. An agreement was settled and the Dominion was formed. To this day, the player will be faced with the option of aligning themselves with the might of the Galactic Dominion. The second option available is to join the group of mercenaries, merchants and refugees, each who have sworn to fight the Dominion. Known as the Exiles, they have been pushed and rescinded back by their enemy's aggression, and they have begun to rest and collude on the planet of Nexus. Here you can join them and fight against the oppressive spread of the Dominion, who they see as cowards that hide behind the might of their leaders. What is the past of the Exiles? Each member has their history, but in most recent memory, everyone remembers the battles and rescue mission that nearly cost them all their lives. An attack past the Dominion defence line guarding the country, Aboria gave the Exiles an opportunity to liberate the Orin population of that planet, as well as the Queen. Having taken on board a huge new populace that needed to be fed and guarded, time and resources were running out. Dominion stalker ships were hunting for the hiding alliance and would look to attack straight away, with the exile ships weakened and unprotected. Time was passing slowly, repairs were pacing through, and food was running out as the new Orin population were being fed and recovered. A silence grew across the halls of the collection of starships, and people were beginning to lose hope. The future could not continue like this. An opportunity was presented by a human named Dorian Walker, an eccentric whose goal had been to find Nexus. During the siege to save the Orin, he had finally found it, and a new hope was rekindled. Exile ships ignited their engines and set course for a homeland that could support their growing alliance. But the planet is not empty, and it is not safe. A home can be made here, if the player can defeat the native fauna and enemy's army, and lay the roots of their future in peace.